So what's causing the cooling trend in the mid-20th century? Was there a decrease in CO2 emissions? Well, probably not. All indications are that CO2 emissions were actually increasing, not decreasing. This is a, a plot of the U.S. The gross domestic product, a good measure of economic activity. And here's the start of the Second World War. Well, note the unprecedented economic expansion that occurred during and after the war. Policy wonks tell us that CO2 emissions are tied with economic activity, especially back then. So all indications are that CO2 emissions were actually increasing during this period. So if that's the case, what could cause the global land temperatures to cool? Well, this mid-century industrial expansion also emitted lots of sulfate aerosol to the atmosphere. Sulfate aerosols are very bright, so they reflect sunlight back to outer space and cool the planet. Coal-burning power plants are a good source of these sulfate aerosols. The coal usually contains sulfur. When it is burnt, the exhaust combines with water vapor to form small particles. These are the sulfate aerosols. Incoming sunlight that would have warmed the planet now gets reflected back to space, cooling the planet. While sulfate aerosols may be good at keeping the Earth cool, these aerosols are not very good for our lungs. When they are inhaled, they irritate the lung tissue. In the winter of 1952, London experienced stagnant wind weather conditions that dramatically increased sulfate aerosol concentrations. Londoners that could not obtain masks from their chemists had to breathe a noxious pea soup fog rich with sulfates. About 12,000 people died prematurely. Well, this was a wake-up call to Londoners that they had better clean up the air that they breathe, and this led to the British Clean Air Act in 1956. President Nixon signed the U.S. Clean Air Act in 1970. Global sulfate emissions went down, the air got cleaner, more sunlight reached the earth, and temperatures warmed. So without the sulfate aerosols, the global temperatures might have been warmer during the mid-century and looked more like this.